Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching from. My name is Pastor Lara Obiwumi. I welcome you to the presence of God to please go home again. I pray that the Lord bless you, the Lord keep you, the Lord make his countenance shine upon you and give you peace. I pray for peace in every area of your life in Jesus name. Yeah, good day to you again and again. Today we want to talk about personal hygiene, personal hygiene in your, as a woman or as a man. Some of, some of us are so spiritual that we do not think about hygiene. We just feel like as long as I'm, I am spiritually standing, then all is well. <laughs> it is very key that we take care of our hygiene also. Who do you preach to when you are smelling? Oh, let's leave preaching alone. A single lady that needs that is looking forward to being married is looking for the will of God. Do you know that the will of God may be running away from you if you are smelling? Hmm. I want to talk about taking your bath using good cream. You don't have to make up if that is not you. You don't have to wear jewelry if that is not you. You need to wash your hair. So let's go to, as a lady, your daily <laughs> activities. I'm talking about a lady. Your underwear is very, very key. You are not supposed to wear your underwear, that your panties, more than once. You wear it in the morning, at night when you take it off, wash it, don't wear it again. Your bra also. The clothes you wear out, because it depends on where you live. Definitely, if you live in a hot weather, you will sweat. And if the sweat sticks on the clothes, you wear it again, it will be smelling. The fact that you cannot perceive the smell doesn't mean it's not there. Because your nose will get used to it, if that is how you usually are. Number two, roll-on or antiperspirant and perfume. Because of sweat, some people don't have body odor, but the sweat on them is always there. You get up in the morning, you've gone out, you come back home, you want to go out again, you just get up and you have sweat a lot all day. You go, I'm going to church in the evening. You just wear that old cloth and you still go, you are smelling. So if you are where you have sweat, you are going back later in the day, nothing is wrong with you taking another shower. Most of the deodorant or so are 24 hours. Buy good perfume. Don't go and buy cheap perfume that smells like you are, you, 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 you are, <laughs> that like the one they use for cups. Buy good perfume. You don't have to wet yourself with it, but just use a little so that you will smell inviting. A married woman at home. Sometimes you are married. All the time. Before you got married, you always look good. You take care of yourself. You take your shower. But after marriage, you start tying wrapper on your chest. You are not doing yourself justice. Because that man, the fact that you are married to him doesn't mean he doesn't go out and see others. Beautiful 
young ladies, your age, younger, older, looking good. Underwear is the same thing, your bra the same thing, the clothes you wear the same thing. In the house, don't let your husband always come home to a smelling wife. Smell good, look good for yourself, for your spouse, for people that see you. Yoruba will say Bashir in Lankoni. It's the way you are that people will see you. It, no matter how much education you have, you are bagged. If you always tie wrapper, you wear blouse and tie wrapper on it, everybody will be looking at you as a village person. And every time your husband wants to, somebody says, Oh, can I come to your house? Your husband is afraid to bring them home. Why? Because you are always tying wrapper, looking like a village person. You have to look good for yourself. I have told us a story on this platform before about a woman who the man was always fighting her. Then one day she went to a pastor and said, Pastor, please, I don't know what I've done wrong. My husband is always angry. And the pastor, a counselor just told her, why don't you wear your clothes that you wear? I know on Sundays you look good. Why don't you just at home? Maybe the person had gone to their house had seen that at home she was always wearing blouse and wrapper. Maybe the man is looking outside because he see more beautiful people. He has told you about your dress and he said yes, then change. What saved that marriage was that she changed and started wearing. You don't have to wear sexy or anything. But if sexy for your husband is fine. But a man wants to touch you as he moves near to you. Oh God, this man wants to kill him. What do you want him to do? Some will tell you it depends on how they know how to say. How come you are smelling like this and you get angry? I'm smelling. I'm smelling. What kind of a thing is that? You make sure you are not smelling yourself. That's about women. Don't smell. Don't let your hair be smelling. At least, max, max, you should wash your hair twice in a month. Twice in a month. Your hair is not smelling. Your face is well kept. And the clothes you wear, well washed, well ironed. As you are, 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 are as as you come, that's what people will see you as. Before they know who you are, before they know whether you are a pastor or a Christian, before they know whether you are a Muslim, before they know whether you are a, a PhD holder, how they see you, how presentable are you? And another thing is, it is always wrong. What? You owe precious, precious rather, you hide. Don't put all your boobs out there in the name of wanting to look sexy. It's devilish. If you are not mar married, the guys that will be approaching you are guys that want to have sex with you. Even if you are married, people you think you are Unpulu Wajani, you are advertising yourself. If you say you want to look sexy, that means you are approaching, are, are, are trying to ask people to come and have sex with you. In everything, moderation. You want to make up moderation. The clothes you wear, don't let it be short over a, a smaller size. Let it fit you and cling well. Look beautiful. Look at yourself in the mirror and feel good. Smile yourself and feel good. That's so important. Your nails should be cut neatly. Or if you are the one that uses long nails, go to where you fix your nails. 
maybe I don't know how long it takes, maybe a week or twice a month. Just be clean. Cleanliness is near to godliness. I'm talking about your personal hygiene, not your home right now. Because we can go back there and talk about how you have to fix your home, make your home clean. Accessible, like, I mean, where people can come and sit down comfortably. Now, to the men. Men also, your undies should be worn once and washed. Don't wear your singlet. You say it's only singlet, nobody is seeing it. You have sweat on it. That you wear your sweat, your sweat singlet to work five days a week. And you will see people moving back when they are talking to you. Your mouth will always be smelling. You brush your teeth. Ah, you don't brush the tongue. If you discover your mouth is smelling, use use mouth wash, use stuff. Rinse your mouth at least every two, three hours with water. So that you will not <laughs> be giving everybody odor to go home with. Change your singlet. Your shirt also. Use use um cologne for men. Roll on for men. Smelling good is part of godliness. You will not say because you are a Christian, you, you, your, 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 your body odor will be offensing people. Or you wear clothes, they will be looking at me. You don't, you, you don't shine your shoes. Or, you know, look decent. Moderation. Don't 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 wear dirty clothes and say she be motivation. I know things are expensive, but you can you can there are some things that are important. They are as good as your health. Your health is very important. All those things oh, uh, you, uh, because you don't want to use soap, because you don't have to go, can cause problems in your body. So please take care of your health. Take care of your eye, personal hygiene. For your home. Sometimes the women, you can even when your man, when your man is trying to drag you close, you move closer and <sighs> why? Because it's smelling. Because there is nothing that says a man cannot shave. Sorry, even for women, your armpits. Yeah, it shouldn't be, be tangled there. Because no matter how much roll on you use, if the air you may not be getting there. So you should shave. Shave your armpits. Men too. So that if someone when you move close to each other each other, you can feel. It's not that, 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 that uh, the wife is turning on to the other side because the man is smelling. That is what they call bed abuse. Or the other way around. And then you'll be complaining, he's not touching me. How will he touch you if you are smelling? So I pray that as you change your ways today, the Lord Almighty will help you. The Holy Spirit will help me too. Our home will be heaven on earth indeed. Where we, we, we are in paradise. When you go to, to where flowers, beautiful flowers are, are growing, you will be perceiving beautiful smells, beautiful odor. I don't know. Beautiful. Not the kind of smell that wants you to that will make you throw up. So let's take care of our personal hygiene henceforth. If there is any problem, let us as husband or as wife be 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 honest with our spouse. You can tell him or her nicely. You know. Can you please go and shower? Then he will understand. You did this. How you see how you are smelling? <laughs> you smell like uh uh. Please go and shower, my dear. I know you are tired, but uh -huh. please. And as a wife, if your husband is wearing one singlet for one week, people will not tell you. They will be saying it behind him. Gao, how the man be smelling like this? Or the shirt you sweat in. If she went on that shirt yesterday, 
There's the same one you want to wear for an interview. God have mercy on us all. Let's take it serious. Personal hygiene is very, very important. And like I said, cleanliness, cleanliness is near to Godliness. God will help us in Jesus' name. And as we are talking, uh, taking care of our personal hygiene, let's take care of our spiritual hygiene too. Let us clean ourselves by the water, by the spirit, by the word. Every day, let's read the word of God and use that to clean our, our hearts and our soul. If you are not born again, please give your life to Jesus. You need it desperately. God bless us all in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. I'll see you next week. Our homes will be heaven and earth. Amen. <laughs>